there is a person that does so much for me. And because of that, I am willing to do so much for that person as well. And you may ask yourself, why aren't too many people willing to do so much for me as well? Well, you have to ask yourself, are you the type of person that is only willing to give as much as other people are willing to give to you? Are you the type of person that is willing to give less than what you do? Are you the type of person that is willing to only give less than what people are willing to give to you? If you are, why are you surprised? Aren't you going to reap what you sow? Let's say that you want to plant a tree of apples, but you plant a tree of plums. Okay. Why are you surprised that there aren't any apples on that tree of plums? Because you sowed a plum tree. You did not sow an apple tree. Okay. If you are selfish and rude, why do you expect everyone to be kind to you? Think about that. You are sowing selfishness and rudeness, but you expect something different than what you sold, S-O-W. You are going to reap what you sow. How can you get anything different than what you plant? If you are planting corn, how can you get wheat? If you have planted a rose, how can you get a tulip? <laughs> Think about that. So, if you want more compassion, you have to sow, S-O-W, compassion. If you want more love, you have to sow love. And you may say, Kevin, why do I have to do that first? Because <laughs> you are going to reap what you sow. So everything is based upon what you are doing, saying, and thinking. Yes, you have to do it first. It doesn't matter what other people are doing, saying, or thinking. You are only going to... <laughs> My Lord, I pray that this makes sense. So if you want more people to do for you, do more for people. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.